Much of the media have mocked the existence of unidentified flying objects. The U.S. Pentagon has been studying this subject for quite a long time and apparently will soon release some of its findings which remain classified. According to a new report in the New York Times, the U.S. government may have physical evidence of, and we're quoting, off-world vehicles not made on this earth. Huh. The government has also released footage of UFO sightings, including a 2004 encounter recorded from an advanced Navy fighter jet. Commander David Fravor is a retired naval aviator who once saw something he could not explain, that science can't explain. We're honored to have him on tonight. Mr. Fravor, thanks so much for coming on. So ex tell us if you think this is being misinterpreted. According to the New York Times, the U.S. government has physical evidence of some sort of vehicle made not on this earth. Is it what it sounds like? Well, it sounds that way to me, Tucker. I just, uh, you know, I never want to speculate what the government truly yes. has, but uh, I would say there's stuff out there. I mean, uh, the four of us that chased the, the Tic Tac in 2004 will have attested to it multiple times that what we saw exceeded anything that we had in our inventory, far superior to the airplanes that we were flying in at the time they were brand new. So. I would say yes, there's something out there, and hopefully the government does have stuff. So when we spoke before about this, and you suggested that the object you saw that you chased, the Tic Tac, behaved mm -hmm. in ways that challenged your understanding of, of aeronautics, of physics, and that you didn't think it was likely that that object was, belonged to a foreign military. Um, do you think the U.S. government has concluded that this is not Russia, China, or some other country? I'm pretty sure of that, that, uh, you know, just by some of the phone calls that we've gotten, some of the people that we have talked to in the government, that they are unaware of what this is. And I think that ties directly with the East Coast sighting with the gimbal video. And I'd be willing to say just because uh, I'm in contact with a lot of these people that there are more yeah. incidents that are starting to come out, that people are starting to report inside the government channels of things that they've seen. And I think you're seeing it from people in the past because it always had that taboo to come out and talk about these things. You're not finding people from the past that are saying, hey, I saw this. I just was never told to report it. Or when I did, I was told not to say anything. Yes. So I, th I think since 2017, the world is starting to change because of the publicity, because of the attention of the Senate and the Congress, because of people like Marco Rubio and the Intel Committee of telling the, the uh, DOD, hey, I want to report. I think you're starting to see more and more of that. And I would say if, if, if the government does have stuff, and I don't know what they have, but if they do, I would think that, you know, there's probably stuff. If you go Roswell was 73 years ago, if something did happen, because there's a lot of speculation that there was something other than a weather balloon, where's all that at? Yeah. I mean, if just, just by odds, something would be here. So uh, that raises the question of why all the secrecy? I mean, clearly the, the U.S. government has lied to the public for maybe 73 years. Why do you think? Uh, well, you know, if we go back to like Project Blue Book and go, you know, it was done, it really did two things. One, it investigated occurrences and sightings that people saw. The other one was it primarily was sent to out to debunk, to prove that it wasn't or to make excuses of why it wasn't. I don't know why. I think some of it was trying to capture that technology. But if something lands in your front yard, there's no reason to deny that it existed or, right. you know, or for the government to cover it up because... You know, if it's not collected by some means that's going to question our national security or our defense or our offensive or defensive capabilities, then why would you hide it? I, 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 that just baffles me. Just like our incident, why wasn't it thoroughly investigated at the time for yeah. something that literally could penetrate a battle group spaces and they did nothing? I mean, there was nothing done until really about 2009. It's, I mean, there, there's, a, there's a story here that a lot of us can't wait to see. Finally, do you feel vindicated? Uh, I never, yeah, you could say that, but I never, you know, most of the fellow aviators that know the group of us, we were never, like, chastised or, I mean, you get ribbed, but it was never, like, you're crazy or anything like that. Right. Uh, but I know there are people that do have that fear of coming out saying, you know, that it's going to ruin their career. And for me, it, it just wasn't that. The, the wasn't it was never the case right with us. well that's that's the beauty of being a naval aviator people take you seriously by definition uh, well, commander yes. thanks so much and I, for... I, well, I try and be sober and believable for you tucker <laughs> and and you are and we appreciate it thank you thank you